guys it's Nelly welcome back to my channel so I'm not naked by the way I am wearing a tube top I feel like I always have to just close that because when I when you can't when you guys can't see anything up here your first thought is oh my god you're naked and no I am not naked I have a little tube top on it's just I have so many lights in front of me that it gets really really hot and sometimes I can power through the hotness but today has been so hot here in Miami that it's a tube top day so in today's video i am going to show you guys a bunch of new products i recently got a pr box from charlotte tilbury this video is not sponsored they just sent me a bunch of goodies so we're going to test everything put everything to the test i have some new lashes sorry i'm looking at everything to make sure i have everything i have some new lashes that i'm going to try and i also have the ofra and nikki tutorials new highlight collaboration i'm going to try that as well so I think we're just gonna go ahead and go for it so I already did my brows off camera so I'm going to moisturize and I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's magic cream and I've heard so many great things about this this is my first time trying this so let's see how it goes I'm going to just take it from the cap ooh it feels very thick I'm gonna put this right here this feels really nice and it smells delicious so I'm gonna put that right there and I'm just gonna go in with my clean hands by the way how long has it been that you guys don't see sorry for the swatches I was testing some stuff but how long has it been that you guys don't see my nails this bare I have had my nails done every two weeks for the past like what three two years now um, and I don't know what happened last time I went around last time that I went my nails just all started to break so I think I needed to give them a little bit of a break from the nail polish so I zoomed you guys up a little bit closer so that you can really see what I am doing I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid I am using my Kylie concealer in the shade ivory and I am just going to place this all over the lid and this is going to be our lid primer alrighty so once the lids are primed I'm gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder I am using the ColourPop no filter setting powder and I'm gonna take the tiniest bit and I'm going to apply this all over my lids that is just going to set the concealer into place I'm gonna go in to this Charlotte Tilbury the Golden Goddess Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here. I broke my palette, so don't mind that. But I'm gonna take this shade and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone as my brow bone highlight. I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop bronzer and I am going to apply this to my crease as my transition shade. The palettes that I have from Charlotte Tilbury are all very shimmery. So I'm just going to use my bronzer and I am going to apply this in my crease from inner corner all the way to the outer corner and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Kylie uh, Sorta of Sweet Palette and I'm gonna go in to the shade Rosé, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna take it with that same brush, which by the way, it's a ColourPop E2 brush. And I'm just going to concentrate this color still on the crease, but just keeping it a little bit lower to add this just a little more definition and again you want to apply it from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner I'm gonna go in to this bottom shade and this was called Coco I believe and I am going to apply this just a tad bit tighter on the crease just to add a little more definition in the crease area I'm gonna go back in to the previous blending brush with a little bit more product it could be the bronzer it can be the first Kylie shade we used and you just want to diffuse those two lines I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of spice plum which is this dark brown right over here I am going to focus this right here in the outer corners I am going to stamp the brush and once I have the color really nice and placed, I'm going to tap off the excess. I'm going to turn my brush to the side and I'm just going to blend that in the crease. I'm going to take the Vintage Vamp palette from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to take this gold shade and this one is called Pop. 
and I am going to apply this all over my entire lid. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade and this one is the Golden Goddess palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this color. It's like a pretty, it's like a silver green shade and I'm actually going to pop this right on top of that lid color. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this shade right here. And this is not really a matte. It has like a really nice shine to it. And I am actually going to pop this in my crease just to kind of diffuse everything and make everything really nice and blown out. So I am just going to apply this right here. I'm going to start in the outer corner and move inwards and just blend that into my crease okay i'm gonna go ahead and take a makeup wipe and i'm just gonna wipe off the excess fallout that we have under our eyes okay so let's move on to the face and then we'll come back with the eyes primer i'm gonna take the charlotte tilbury wonder glow instant soft focus beauty flash it doesn't have a color or anything so we're just gonna go ahead and use this. I am going to apply it with a brush. I'm first going to dot it everywhere and then just apply it with a brush. This is a MAC 168 brush. And just apply this pretty much everywhere. So for foundation, I'm going in with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. First, dot it all over my face and then i'm going to go in with my morphe e54 and i'm just going to stipple this on my face i'm going to go in with a concealer brush and a little bit more of the foundation and i am going to apply this on the tops of my brows to clean them up so i'm going to go in with the beauty blender and i am just running this all over my skin just to make sure that the brush didn't leave any brush strokes behind and this is just also going to make the foundation just look a little bit more like skin i'm going to go in and take the kkw contour stick in dark and i am just going to lightly just contour some areas of my face so i'm going to put a little bit on the forehead on the hollows of the cheek. I'm also gonna do a little bit on the sides of the nose. First, gonna go in with a brush and blend this into my skin. And this is a Sephora 57 Pro Brush. And then I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Blender and make sure that that is really pushed into the skin and that it's nice and diffused. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with concealer and I am using, again, my Kylie concealers and this one is in the shade Ivory and Gypsum. I first go in with Ivory and I apply this under the eyes and I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender one more time and blend this into the skin. And then I'm going to go in to Gypsum and I'm going to apply it on the chin, up here in the cupid's bow, up in the forehead a bit, and down the bridge of the nose, and a little bit right here just to highlight that area. And again, I'm going to go in with my sponge and blend this in. I'm going to set my under eyes using my ColourPop No Filter Powder. And I'm going to take it with my sponge. I'm going to push the product into the under eyes. Set the rest of the skin. I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Medium. I'm going to take very little of this powder, top off the excess, and lightly set my skin. So let's go ahead and finish the under eyes. The only thing that I'm going to do to my under eyes is I'm going to take a mixture of the two brown shades from the Kylie palette, so this color and this color, and I am just going to smoke out my lower lash line. So really smoke it out. And then I'm gonna take the dark brown shade and I'm going to put this on the bottom 
lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline using the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon in Amber Haze. So I'm gonna apply this to my waterline. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the color Champagne Diamonds. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my ColourPop bronzer one more time and I'm just going to bronze my face. So I'm just going to bronze it up. And I'm then gonna take the Filmstar Bronze and Glow which looks like this from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take a mixture of both and apply this right on top. Okay, so we're just going to make ourselves very nice and bronzy. So I'm taking my face powder and I'm just going to clean up that contour bronzer area. I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX contour kit and I'm going to take the vanilla shade and I'm going to use this shade to wipe off the bake that we have under our eyes and this is just going to further brighten up our under eyes and give us a little bit more luminosity to the under eyes. Okie dokie. Moving on to blush. I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Cheek Love is the Drug Blusher. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply very, very little of it because as I can tell, it's very, very pigmented. I don't want it to be too pigmented. I'm going to apply this on the apple of the cheek and back. That is very pigmented, so be very careful. To make everything just kind of a little bit less intense, I'm gonna take my big brush and I'm gonna wipe off that baking and move it up so that we blur everything into the skin. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of setting spray. This is the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist and I'm going to apply this all over my skin. I'm gonna let this dry and while that dries, I'm going to go in with lashes and I'm gonna pop these off camera. These are the OG lashes in the style East Coast 2.0. So I'm gonna do all of this and then I will be right back to finish off the rest of the face. So moving on to highlight, I am going in with the new Nikki and Ofra highlight in Cloud 9. It's so pretty. This is my first time actually using it, but it just looks stunning. And I'm just going to put this right here, tops of the cheekbones. Ooh, ooh. That is so pretty. Moving on to lips, I'm going to line my lips using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Hollywood Honey. And then I'm going to fill them in using the shade um, Beach <laughs> Perfect. And just use this all over the lips. Now you can totally leave it like this, but I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Gloss in Over the Top. And then I'm going to go in with some more setting spray. Alrighty, you guys. So this is a final look. This is everything that I have to show you guys for today's video. I do really love the look. I wish I would have done something a little bit different because I feel like my last video was very, very similar to this one. But it's still very beautiful and I think it's wearable and I think a lot of you guys will enjoy it because it is a little bit more on the wearable side where I typically do very traumatic eyes. So I think this is really pretty and can you see how much my hair has grown? Like what the heck? It's growing so much. But that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. And also don't forget to share the video with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. I say the same thing in every single video, but YouTube is playing us these days. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching once again. And until next time, I will see you guys very, very soon with a brand new video. Mwah!